A major new cancer report has revealed that genomic sequencing can extend the lives of patients by up to 50 per cent. But doctors warn access is limited and are now calling for the breakthrough testing to become part of standard cancer care. When 61-year-old Marina Dunn was told her breast cancer had returned for a third time, she thought it was the end. My daughter rang up to say that she'd booked a wedding date, which was like, I don't know, 12 months ahead, and I thought to myself, well, you know what, I won't be there. Her oncologist ordered a special test through the company Omico. I just had to tell myself, well, they're going to find the best treatment for me. It's called genomic sequencing, a deep look into the so-called fingerprint of a tumour. It reveals the exact mutations powering the disease. Doctors can then match patients to precise treatments that are most likely to work for them. A new report delivered to the health minister today shows patients who had those tests and targeted treatment are living up to 50% longer than those given standard therapies, with survival rates more than doubling for some patients. The numbers are frankly jaw-dropping. The federal government is funding these tests for another 12 months, but it's only for patients with rare, advanced or hard-to-treat cancers. That's about one in five diagnoses. Doctors want it embedded into mainstream cancer care so that it's available to all patients. I can't imagine a world where it was five years ago when it was basically based on how much you had in your bank account, whether you got this test or not. People will die earlier than they should. For Marina, it gave her precious time. Made it to the wedding and I did all the flowers for it and yeah, the whole night was amazing. And now that same bride is having our ninth grandchild. A life she never thought she'd have. Good drumming, Leah. Jennifer Beshwati, 7 News.